Have a look at these sales numbers for the Toyota Tacoma in the US. So in 2022, in February, uh, in January and February, they sold 15,000 and 16,000. And in th this year, in 2023, they sold even more. They sold almost 18,000 in January and 17,000 in February, which is nuts because this is a model that came out in 2016. However, there has been a couple of leaks online, which I'm going to show you. And then I'm going to take those leaked patent images and I'm going to add some color to it and try to render it real quick in Photoshop to give you an idea of what the new Tacoma could look like. Looking at the last two years of sales, we have 252,000. 490 Tacoma sold in the US in 2021 and 215,000 close to 216,000 in 2022. So it doesn't feel like it's slowing down really. And that gives a lot of pressure on uh, Toyota to really get the next model uh, right. And I think they also obviously want to not mess up a working concept. So the design is going to be very, very uh, conservative when it comes to changes. So here we have these leaked patent images that leaked uh, a while ago. And the first thing when I saw this is that, that it looks pretty much identical to the EV concept of the Tacoma that they showed uh, in late 2021. They say here that uh, they're not certain that this is going to be um, what the new Tacoma looks like, as you can see here. But if I look at this car, if I look at this truck, and if I look at the new Toyota Tundra, this looks like the perfect little brother to the Tundra. They have the same kind of graphic styling and new design language from Toyota. So it would be very weird if they dropped a Tacoma that looked any thing different than what we have right here. So some of the spec and tech that they guessing here in this Edmunds um, article, which I'm going to link below if you want to go and check it out. The Tacoma will likely feature a turbocharged four, four cylinder, likely the one found in the current Lexus NX and the RX. 275 horsepower and 317 pound feet of torque. Not bad. It feels like that would suit this type of size of uh, of truck, and you would also likely get the 10-speed automatic transmission. However, the Lexus RX has a um, a hybrid powertrain which makes 366 horsepower. So it would be nice to have sort of like a um, a Tacoma Raptor or a Tacoma TRX or something like that that is more powerful and gets some beefed up suspension and tire wheels and tires with an engine with around 366 horsepower. I doubt that's going to happen, but it would be cool to see. So let's jump into Photoshop here. Let's have some fun. Let me show you what I'm talking about when I say that I definitely believe that this is indeed the next generation Tacoma. Here on the side, as you can see, we have the patent images. I made a video on this on my second channel talking about this real quick, but I didn't make a redesign of it. And that's what I'm going to make in this video in addition to this, uh, uh, what we're doing right here. So looking at the uh, Tundra over here, have a look at the graphics of this thing. And the by graphics, I mean, look at the, the cut lines that goes above the, the both uh, wheel axles these cuts in the body and also look at the uh, the tail lights and the treatment of the headlights and the bumpers the thing is all of this that we see here in the tundra if i were to redesign this into a new tacoma it would essentially look exactly like this because we have the same kind of cuts in the fenders over the axles like we have in the in the big tundra and we also have very similar treatment to the taillight i like that this graphic go goes in and cuts in right here and we have the bumper almost sitting uh, separately from um, from the rest of the body and it also feels like it's been uh, designed in house which is very un truck like but something that i really like you also have a window back here as you can see we have a bit of a spoiler on the roof which i think looks good it adds some sport to this design but the overall proportions of this thing comparing this to the uh, to the current Tacoma you can see just how conservative this change is and I think that is honestly the a smart move by Toyota as I showed you this came out in 2016 the current generation Tacoma and it's still selling better almost better for each year the 2023 uh, two first two months are better selling with the Tacoma than they were in 2022 so they definitely want to take it easy and be careful 
with how they redesign this winning concept that they have in the current Tacoma. But I definitely prefer the new design over the old one. The old one looks it looks good, but it, it's been around for so long and they up updated the headlights, for example, added some LEDs, new grills and stuff like that. But they can only update it so much. Uh, before it's time to completely redo the entire platform and I think this is a very cool um, transition from the current Tacoma into something that has a clear connection to the t new Tundra's design language specifically with this chiseled bumper and the headlights and also the uh, graphic features that I showed you in the side of the truck you can clearly see for example the taillight integration having almost like a clamp that's clamped on to the rear end you have a very very similar treatment on the on the new Tacoma here you can see that here in this rear view and also I think maybe even better when we look at this piece right here from a side view and comparing this to the new Tundra and with that said I'm gonna take one of these images I'm gonna take this one I think this is probably the the the, the best for uh, visualization purposes and I'm gonna try to render it real quick here in Photoshop to give you an idea of what this could look like with the badge in the front, the headlights and some wheels and tires and a little bit of paint onto this design. So if you want to stick around for that, you're welcome to do so. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.